The Monmouth County Prosecutor's Office celebrates Black History Month with our continuing series focused on the storied career of Wesley Mayo Sr. In this segment, those who have worked alongside him reflect on some of their early interactions with Mr. Mayo, including for some, what it was like training under his tutelage while he was a training officer and later the director of the Monmouth County Police Academy. Well, what I found going to the police academy, it was a, a whole different situation of, okay, with my experience as a police officer and, and things that I had done there, but now seeing these young men and women that I was training at the police academy, what happened is over the years it had changed to where I was getting people who didn't have military experience. I always said they came from mom's kitchen. Really, you know, some of them were out of college, most of them had college degrees, but they didn't have any real common sense. They had all the book learning in the world, but when we had to get down to the, the, the nuts and bolts of being a police officer, now you had to go into a whole different thing. The discipline, first of all, getting the discipline, teaching them to handle themselves, but not to mishandle the public. You know, you had to have a thick skin, you couldn't just go off on a person because of what they say to you or what they do. You had to still be a professional. And my thing at the police academy at that time was to see how many we could graduate, not how many we could fail out. Um, it, it was exciting. I never wanted to let them down. And uh, when I started over here, I was, you know, teaching the narcotic class. And then I, I was involved in the firearms program. And he was a great shot. He no, he couldn't be beat. So uh, he let it let it be known that that you wanted to take him on and and, and shoot him. He, he was up, he was up to the test. But you know I, I enjoyed you know how he led. Um, and he's the type of leader that takes everybody's opinion. Um, he you know jargons it around and and uh, said okay well, let's work with this. But um, he was always very very fair. Um, and he treated me like, you know, the rest of the, the women and, and guys that were here. So um, I was happy to do that, you know. It was like the father that I knew when I was home. And at the same time, you know, people experienced what, what I experienced over the years in, in his leadership. So. I met Captain Wesley Mayo Sr. in March of 1992 when I was a police recruit for the city of Asbury Park at the Monmouth County Police Academy. Captain Mayo, we referred to, he was our training director at the time of the academy training instructor. And he handled us every single day, every moment. Um, from the time you got to the academy, um, to make sure that you were squared away, your uniform, your gig line. Um, with his former military background, he was very good at getting us prepared. You know, that our soles of our shoes were clean, um, no dirt on them. Like I said, um, that gig line, no threads hanging off. Um, then we would proceed outside from the locker room and we would participate in DNC, which is drill and ceremony, every morning. And he taught us how to march and drill like soldiers, uh, which was unique to me because I wasn't in the military before. So uh, with his experience, um, I'd like to say we all became very good at drill and ceremony. Every day we had PT in the evenings where we had to change into our gym clothes and we would run for physical training, and every day, Captain Mayo participated in, in, in PT with us, and that meant running with us, uh, doing pull-ups with us, push-ups with us, um, you name it, Captain Mayo was there, and I thought it was uh, pretty outstanding of him to participate with some younger guys like us and actually beat out some and be stronger than some of us. And I went on the I went on the job in West Long Branch, uh, January first, seventy five, uh, with the intention of transferring to Long Branch at the earliest opportunity on the civil service list. As a matter of fact, I met Wesley a couple times at night, uh, you know, car to car from West Long Branch to Long Branch, and uh, we uh, we talked about it. In seventy five or early seventy six, he made sergeant, and uh, uh, he was uh, he I think he might, he might have been one of my, my first sergeants. But uh, we were in the old building in Old City Hall. And uh, I'll tell you what, Wesley was squared away. He was a sharp guy. Uh, he, uh, uh, and very well liked. As a matter of fact, it's, uh, 
it's kind of a tired, uh, uh, I don't know, trope or whatever. That uh, you know, I never heard a bad word. Well, Wesley, you never heard a bad word about Wesley. Uh, he was just a just a really solid guy and a, and a good guy. I just told. I mean, it. You can imagine what it's like when you go to a new place. You want to ingratiate yourself there. And since I came in at you know at a managerial higher level, I especially wanted to do that. So somebody like Mr. Mayo not only supporting me but get, taking the time to get to know me like making it appear that he was supportive of of my coming here that was huge i think it was huge not just for me but for so many people in the office that know him to be like a pillar in law enforcement and especially at this office so i i think that made a difference